Okay, so people have been asking me where I get my skins from. I'm not sponsored by them, by the way, in any shape or form. I use Skinport to buy all my skins. I feel like it's the cheapest place besides Buff163, which I cannot get an account for because I have an American phone number. It kind of sucks. So I usually go on the website or refresh it. And usually it's on most popular. Sometimes I'll take a look at that. But usually I go to newest. And then I just scroll through there to see if there's anything on sale or anything that's on a decent pricing. Like that's overpriced. I wouldn't buy it. Do a little scrolling. I think that's on sale, but it's not worth it, it's field tested. Or you can search for specific things, so we'll do that next. But first, I typically go highest discount or newest. Highest discount, and I adjust this price to about $2. So there's a blue gem, it's 46% off, it's 45% off. You can also click on the things, it'll tell you the graph. Oh, there's no data, okay. Check the screenshot. Wait, that's not playside blue. Why is it so expensive? Or maybe it is. A little confused with that. Yes, yeah, it's backside, playside. Okay, maybe both sides are blue. But for other items, we'll just click on this because this has data. So as you can see, it dropped down in price. That's a tier one blue gem, or not blue gem, it's still tier one. But typically I use that, so I search for, like when I bought my ops skin, I went to ops, see all offers. Best value. And then from there you just buy they only take credit card or debit card, but that's fine. I mean, PayPal usually works. I used to use CSGO money, but they're way too expensive. I'll show that website. They upcharge everything. It's it's like not worth using. Everything's so expensive and overpriced, and they lowball you too for your skins, but this will give you actual currency right then and there because they send it to a bot. And then you could just buy with that money, opposed to skin point, which, you're selling out of market and you don't get the cash till someone actually buys it and then you could transfer it to your bank account. But I prefer skin port over CSGO money because again, prices are better. But if you have access to Buff163, I highly recommend that. I can't use it because I have a American phone number, but here's like, that's dirt cheap. So much cheaper than any other website, but I can't use it, so I'm not gonna focus on it. Now you can set up for our collections, the phase you want to look for, rare patterns, the fade amount. I think you can do stickers too. You can look, search up specific stickers. So if I put 2014, there's a list of them. We just take a look at that. No items. But yeah, that's what I used to buy my skins. And then from there, you have to go to your items and you withdraw it from here to your steam account sometimes they're on a trade lock depending on what items it is you have to check all that beforehand if that's tradable that's not tradable for eight more days but you can still have it on your skin port account you just have to wait to transfer to your steam account in eight days that concludes it for today's video player signing out